Uh, so welcome everybody to our 2016 gradua uh, graduation reception and awards ceremony. Um, uh, this is sort of like the great uh, part of the academic year if you have my job, right? Uh, because you're in, uh, uh, especially my job this particular year, as it turns out, um, uh, because, uh, you know, we've worked with students across the year and across the past four years, uh, and, to, and to just see uh, the number of awards that our students gather and earn and win at every single level of this university is a testimony to them, but it's also a testimony to you as well. And so before I do anything else, thank you students and thank you faculty. Uh, you are the reason we are here, students, and I think most faculty would agree that we really don't have the pleasure of doing this for a living without you. So thank you. And it gives me particularly uh, uh, great pride. Finally graduated at last. No, uh, uh, Diane Escalante uh, is, uh, one, is our alumna. And she actually graduated in 1966. Uh, so without further ado, Diane, please uh, come up and speak with us. OK, and I'm just going to. I'm going to leave my clutter here. If that's okay. I want to say welcome to the graduates of 2016. I am very happy to be here. Uh, I mean, I am really happy to be here. I'm 72 years old. <laughs> Much of how I got here 50 years ago was quite by accident and good luck. As I filled out my application for Arizona State University in the office of my high school in Hawaii, I noted a space that said major. I had no clue what to put there, and my English teacher was standing nearby and said, oh, write in English. You can always change it later. <clears throat> you can imagine what an adjustment the desert was to me. In 1962, technology was an embryo. To register, new freshmen lined up alphabetically by last name on the athletic field in the Arizona sun, <laughs> waiting to enter the gym to sign up for classes. The week before, my advisor, Nicholas Salerno, helped me map out a perfect schedule. He noted that with my last name, Powell, starting with the letter P, it would be impossible to get that schedule. He said, meet me at the faculty door on Monday morning at 8 a.m. I did, and he walked me through and I was able to get that perfect first semester schedule. Years later, at an author's presentation, he told me I was the most lost freshman he had ever met. <laughs> <laughs> Many memorable events happened in those four years <clears throat> as an undergraduate. Here on campus, we celebrated the quadricentennial of Shakespeare with Elizabethan costumes and a torchlight parade. ASU competed in the National College Bowl. ASU track and basketball stars Henry Carr and Joe Caldwell won gold medals in the Olympics. There were campus protests against the war in Vietnam. One press professor was eventually fired for dismissing his class so his students could accompany him to Tucson to support the protest. Another, a dean of students, made firebrand speeches on campus in support of the ultra-conservative John Birch Society. It was one morning before class in the Memorial Union where we watched Walter Cronkite on television tell us our president had been shot and did not survive. Years from now, you will remember time at ASU in sync with the history that has occurred while you were here. I graduated from the College of Liberal Arts. Thanks to Christine Wilkinson's dad, Coach Kajikawa, who encouraged me to take some education electives. He said, so you and Chrissy can teach together. Uh, Christine and I did not end up teaching together. She went on to something else. <laughs> I did teach for 30 years in the Phoenix Union High School District. I started out in the bilingual program at Phoenix Union and taught in other areas of English and reading, such as the International Baccalaureate at North High School. All 30 years, though, were in inner city schools. My English department chair at North High, Jesse Heiss, won the first Krista McAuliffe Outstanding Teacher Award for Arizona. 
The winners in each state were awarded the average teacher salary in the <clears throat> United States to fulfill a project that won them the award. Some used theirs to study in Europe or do other, some other personal mission. Jesse wanted inner city kids to know and love Shakespeare. He used his winnings to put on a Shakespeare festival at North High. Teachers dressed in costume. Uh, we had a feast in the evening. And on Shakespeare Day, English teachers were given cash, fives and one dollar bills to hand out to students in costume of the time or <clears throat> as any character from one of the plays. A buff and burly member of the wrestling team had one of the uh, best costumes. It was a fabulous Ju Julius Caesar garb of green and velvet with gold trim. He had made a golden leaf crown for himself. When I complimented him, I said, Marcus, that's a great costume. I said, oh yeah, Mrs. Escalante, but I gotta get this home and get these drapes back up before my mom comes home from work. <laughs> <laughs> so graduates of 2016, I wish you many fortunate accidents and good luck like I received. Cherish the memories, good, bad, and sad. I promise you it's worth it.